Okay, we're dealing with titration in this example. And generally, we're going to be titrating things like an acid and a base, and that's what you're going to see in the lab tomorrow. Well, in, let's pretend that in this lab we're dealing with sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide. Well, each of those are ionic substances. Um, anytime we see something that has an acid, it's going to have an 1 plus with a hydrogen. And I said sulfuric acid, so we're dealing with the sulfate ion, SO4, 2 negative. Well, those will crisscross, and that gives me H2, SO4. And I said it's reacting with sodium hydroxide. Na is a 1 plus, and hydroxide is an OH polyatomic ion with a 1 negative. So that gives us NaOH. Anytime we have an acid and a base reacting, we're going to get water and a salt of the leftover stuff, which here happens to be Na, which is again the 1 plus, and sulfate, SO4, 2 negative. So we have Na2SO4. Well, anytime I'm dealing with stoichiometry, or anything for that matter, anytime I have a reaction, I need it to be balanced. So I can tell right away it's not balanced. There's two nit er, sodium here, there's only one sodium here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the sodium hydroxide, and then see where I'm at. I've got one sulfate group on each side, so that part's good. Um, I have two oxygen, though on my reactant side. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of my water. That gives me 2 oxygen there. And it also gives me 4 hydrogen. So I need to go back to the reactant side and see if there's 4 there. Well, I have 2 times 1, that's 2, plus the other 2 that are there, 4. So I have a balanced reaction now with coefficients of 2 in front of the NaOH and the water. Well, let's say that in my titration, I am. I have a an Erlenmeyer flask that contains some unknown concentration of the HCl. Um, sorry, H2SO4. And let's say we have 0 0.01 liters of it. 0 0.010 liters. And I'm going to titrate that with my sodium hydroxide to see how much I add to get it until the point where we will see a color change. And that means that we're at the neutralized point, or the neutralization point. So, let's say I get all my data, I calculate it all, and the sodium hydroxide has a known concentration. Concentration NaOH is going to be... Uh, 1.0 moles over liters. And let's say that it takes us um, a volume that we need to add to it with our burette of 0 0.020 liters. Well, we're going to set this up very similar to um, our concentration of 1 times the volume of 1 is equal to the concentration of 2 multiplied by the volume of 2, except this time we have to look at mole ratios and we have to look at, um, or one thing that we tend to do is change the 1s and 2s to A's and B's so we don't lose track of it. So we have concentration of A times volume of A equal to concentration of B times volume of B if we have moles of A equal to moles of B. But if we look at our balanced equation, the coefficients are not the same. I have one mole of H2SO4 for every two moles of NaOH. So it's not one to one here. So I'm going to have to change my numbers um, a little bit so that I, I can get it equal to 1 to 1. Again, right now the H2SO4, so acid to base, is 1 to 2. So there's two more bases for every acid. Well, I have mostly information about my base, so if I multiply my base information by 1 half, 
then I'm going to get it where there's the same amount of stuff. That would be dividing this by 2, which is 1. So I do now have moles of A equal to moles of B, as long as I multiply by this from our coefficients of acid over base. So let's plug in some of our numbers and rearrange. So I'm looking for concentration of A. So I can rearrange this by dividing both sides by VA. So CA is equal to CB, VB, divided by VA, and that whole thing multiplied by 1 half. And now I can plug in my values. So CA is equal to my concentration of B, which is my base, which I said is 1.0 moles over liters, multiplied by my VB, that's my volume of my NaOH that I used to titrate to get to that neutralization point, 0 0.020 liters. And I'm going to divide that by my volume of the acid, which is what I had in my Erlenmeyer flask originally, 0 0.010 liters. And then that whole thing will get multiplied by 1 half. So I'm using my stoichiometry in this 1 half to get this so that the two um, values, the acid and the bases, will actually be equivalent in our calculation. So 1 times 0 0.02 is just 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.01 gives us 2 divided by 2, which is the same as multiplying by 1 half. My concentration of the acid is 1. 0, because we have two sig figs in each of these values, 1.0 moles over liters. So because of the fact that there were two more sodium hydroxides for every sulfuric acid when I react, I needed to take that into account and I ended up having the same concentration of acid that I did as my base. Now if my reaction was something like HCl plus NaOH, the moles would be equal to start with because that reaction has one-to-one -one ratio. So I wouldn't need a fraction in, a, in an instance like that. That would be simply like my dilution example.